previously on Our Curious Georgia. Did you say goodbye to your room? Bye! Bye, room! So you remember how Daddy told you that we're leaving? We're back in, we're back in the shop! This is so exciting! But it's something really, really awesome. I'm pregnant. <laughs> we're like, whoa, like, is this real? Like. Okay, so we wanted to make a video about everything that we brought with us on our trip. It's sort of difficult when you're trying to determine exactly what to bring on an indefinite trip, like you're not sure how long you're gonna be gone for, who knows what to pack or how much of what to bring. So to be honest though, it was a little bit easier packing this time because we had done it before, so we sort of know what's available if we did feel like we had forgotten anything. So yeah, I'll just give a brief overview of what we packed. Hit the road, yeah. Yeah. don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, yeah. And don't you come back no more What you say? Hit the road And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more So we had, in total, we had four checked bags and two carry-on bags The carry-on bags actually felt, felt like we had about 27, but we didn't So we had, one was simply for Sean and I's clothes and like toiletries and stuff One was for Lake and George's clothes One was that big gray backpack carrier that you've probably seen in other videos The other one was a, just another backpack, it had literally Really George's toys in it which was 90% stuffies okay so getting into a little bit more detail so for Sean and I's bag I don't know we we thought we packed really light but our bag was really full and I don't really know how it filled up so fast we just we each have like a handful of shorts a handful of t-shirts and tank tops like one or two long sleeves and Sean has like two pair of long pants and I have a couple of little capris and that's it but it filled up quite fast and so for Georgian Lake's bag, it's not like difficult deciding what to bring for them, but I we definitely packed more for them. For Georgia, we brought like a few dresses because she's obsessed with dresses, though she never even wears them when we're here. She's more obsessed with them when my niece wears them with her at home. We brought her like a handful of shorts, not that many actually, and a handful of tank tops, and that's it. Lake, I brought a lot more stuff because because I had a lot of stuff for her at home. I had a lot of stuff from newborn age all the way to two years old and then she can probably be wearing George's clothes so we're probably not gonna be gone that long but um disclaimer <laughs> though um, with Lake's clothes it's sort of funny because she has to wear bigger clothes because I brought cloth diapers with us so um if anybody knows what cloth diapering is like their butt is like this much bigger so for example if your baby's in three month clothes you almost have to wear six month onesies or six month or even larger pants for them because like their little tush is so big from the diaper. My favorite little look, little diaper bum. For cloth diapers, I think we brought up, we brought 10 to 15 cloth diapers and to be honest, we were this close to not bringing them because when we were in Da Nang, when we first moved there with George, I had brought a handful of cloth diapers and I was doing it. But at home, when I wash cloth diapers, I do one rinse cycle and then a really, really hot cycle and then another um, rinse cycle after that. So it's like a pre-wash, a wash wash, and then a rinse sort of to get the extra soap out. And in Da Nang, your washing machine or our washing machine didn't have hot water. And so they got very smelly very soon and I was sort of discouraged. And um, and then it was sort of rainy season and they weren't drying and it was just like quite a, a, lo a huge annoyance. So I stopped. And then this time I almost didn't do it because I was like, I don't want to bring all these diapers and then just they're just gonna reek anyways so last minute we decided to bring it that it was worth it I'd asked my friend Kelsey who cloth diapers in Da Nang just some advice about because I know she doesn't have hot water and long story short we just um, decided it's completely worth it even if they get a little rank in a couple of months we'll just have to strip them and clean them better more often than we would at home and love 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 them so happy we brought them for the girls of course we brought like hats for them we got a little swim diaper for lake loads of puke blankets for lake bless her little puking soul every so so often she pukes not every so often i mean so often i brought my pump for my milk and i brought little breast milk packages that you store your milk in for the hiking bag you've seen it again we use it in bali a lot sean really really loves it and it's cool if you're like going through markets and stuff like that and we brought it because there's like this whole kerfuffle about whether or not we wanted a double stroller or a single stroller and we we're like, we have the backpack for George though and blah blah blah. To be honest, I don't know how Sean will feel but I wish that we didn't bring it because George is always wanting to go on the stroller. We sort of like rig Lake and George in the stroller together. Lake's like small enough to fit on top of Georgia almost. It's really cute but we brought it. It's like a really good backpack and we used it a lot in Bali and it was like, we weren't sure and I wish we didn't but I think Sean will say that he wish he's happy we had it even if we use it like once this year though though I don't think it's worth it don't tell Sean though and then the toy bag for George was loads of stuffies it was like um, a few of like her little play guys that she always plays with 
they're like little toy like Moanas and stuff. We had like dinosaurs and stuff for her and um, we got this really cool tent from this company called Kidco. It's like a beach tent that, um, I don't know, it's really awesome. I'll show it to you but it's um, it's basically for lake on the beach but George would fit in it too, you know? Actually it says that you're not supposed to put a kid one and under in it but I don't know if I'd put a kid one and over in it. They wouldn't they couldn't stay there. So we've used it a handful of times already and it's so handy. It's like uber breathable and like super soft on the bottom and completely shields them from the sun and it's so, so gold. So in our diaper bag, as I've mentioned, we had like diapers, some extra changes of clothes. We put like our essential oils in there just to keep them with us. For essential oils, what I brought is like my main go-to's, the, one the ones that I always use. So I always use lavender, I always use tea tree oil, I use patchouli a lot. I use this other oil that I have, it's called magic oil. It's um, We know somebody who makes it, it's sort of like a deep tissue oil slash God's gift to earth oil. It, for everything we use it. If the girls are sick, we put it on them. If it's um, sometimes just on their shirts so they can breathe it in, it's like really, really good. Or if your muscles are sore, it's it's just a mix that's incredible for everything. And I also bought grapefruit seed extract, which is so, so awesome. You can use grapefruit seed extract for everything. It's also so, so incredible. But when George was small and she had thrush, it worked so awesome for her. And I said, I need to bring that in case Lake gets thrush. And guess what Lake has at the moment? We literally noticed it three days ago. So that's really, really key in our little oil bag. We brought B12. We don't we don't take B12 at home and we we never have actually. I think we've had it like a handful of times in our three almost almost three year vegan stint, but we brought it because at home you eat a lot of B12 fortified foods whereas here you don't get any of that stuff. It's always like whole food. It's fruits and vegetables all the time and not we don't need a lot of packaged stuff here, so you don't get any B12. So I brought these little nipple butters. I don't need them, but um but I had them and it's also like good for anything. Cuts, I've actually used it on Lake, like sometimes um, her diaper like chased her a little bit so I put a little bit on her legs or if George is a little bug bite or something, we put that on there and it's just really good like cream but not medicated or doesn't have any bad stuff in it. In the little blue bottles that you see, we've been like making for the last like bit um, our own little concoction. One is just like a spray that has like tea tree oil, water, and witch hazel, and the other one is for lavender. I don't know, it's just like some spray, smells good, tea tree oil, we like sprayed on or lavender on like the couch or like the bedroom. It's like room spray or body spray. George always wants a spray, so we have that. But actually at the airport, our bottle of witch hazel, we forgot in our carry-ons and it was a fresh brand new bottle and so they wouldn't let us take it through, which was such a bummer. You can probably get it here, but um, I'll let you know if you can get it here. So lately we've just been using um, the essential oils with water, which is totally fine too. We brought our straws, we have like some bamboo ones for my friend Pam, some stainless steel ones, but we really want to find glass ones. I know we've seen them, so we're on the hunt for glass ones at the moment because those ones are our favorite actually. People ask us if we ever bring medication and no, we don't, but I have this like homeopathic medication, I guess you could call it. It's called Camellia. It's the only thing we've ever given to George. Lake hasn't needed it yet. I've given it to George a handful of times if she's like, when, when she had hand, foot, and mouth, she, on like the third day she hadn't slept, so I give it to her because she wasn't feeling good. And then if she's puking or something like that, or if has had a fever for a couple days, but if she needed any, like I don't pack any other medication. If she needed something, then we just go to the doctor and get a prescription or something like that. And you can get everything you need here. For the electronic bag, we have, Sean and I both have a computer and then um, a couple of hard drives and like some camera stuff. The camera, obviously, the case, the some SD cards, a couple of phones, we each have one. Yeah, all this like sort of electronic gear, loads of people ask Sean like what he uses and so Sean is gonna have a separate video to go over all that because I don't really know anything further than what I've just said. The food bag had some extra activities that I bought just before we boarded the plane that George hadn't seen before. And again, like I mentioned earlier, some like hearty food, lots of snacks, lots of fruit. We packed a lot of potatoes. I remember we were all munching on them the whole time. Okay, so lastly, most importantly, not least, I don't know how I can elaborate anymore, the stroller. So happy we brought it. It wasn't even up for debate this time, especially with Lake. The biggest debate was whether or not we were gonna get a, a double one or a single one, and I think the double ones were just too bulky, ultimately, to be honest with you, and we weren't sure how much George was gonna be in it, and what if she wasn't, and then we just had this huge stroller that we weren't using. She is in the stroller all the time, though. Let me make that note. But I know every kid's different, so that's not a huge factored. Or when we were in Edmonton, Lake was sleeping in the stroller. When we were in Vancouver, George was sleeping in the stroller. Before we even left Canada on the flight, we were like, man, I'm 
so happy we have this stroller. So definitely bring a stroller, 100%. The greatest thing about the stroller that we brought was um, it has like three wheels, it's like a jogging one. And so many times here, even like the smallest little like ridge or sidewalk, our old stroller or so many of the strollers that don't have like the jogging wheel would just suck on it. Like the jogging stroller is the way to go, definitely. Of course, sometimes it's super annoying. Like we've got like a few grab cars and our stroller hasn't even fit in the trunk. It's, I don't know, it's been on like our head or something because it doesn't fit. So for that 2% of the time it is, I'll take the 98% time of time where it's like just amazing. This is a good video for a rambling lady, isn't it? I could go on and on about this. I think if I had to say, we were in Vietnam for most of the time last year and so there's, if we were going straight back to Vietnam, I think I would have brought a lot more, but when we came to Chiang Mai, we went to this place called Central Festival and they had, it's like a huge mall with like this huge department store in it and the baby section had absolutely everything in it. I felt like I was in a Toys R Us. Oh yeah, I brought a bottle for Lake too. I never ever give George a bottle and it was like the silicone one, this special one. I don't know, I think it was special. I have no idea about bottles. And they had like really similar ones. Everything that I could have imagined for a baby or bought at Toys R Us, I could get in Chiang Mai. So keep that in your mind. You can get everything here. You could forget even like my breast pump was there. They had better ones. They had anything you could imagine was there. So don't stress if you forget something. It's all it's all available here. So I think that's it. Um, if you have like further or deeper questions, of course I'll answer, but it's sort of just a summary that I wanted to give, a basic overview of what we have. And, and you know, we even got rid of some stuff since we've come here. Like you get to a point where, or I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I thought I needed seven shorts, but I can work with just three if it's gonna make my bag lighter. That's how I feel. Okay, now this is getting too far. I'll stop now. Okay, bye. Okay, so I have a little bit of air left for um, the weekly questions. Well, we're just gonna do one this week and it's from Anne Vuong. And she says, how much laundry do you guys have between the three of you? Four of you. And how much, and how often do you do laundry? Honestly, we do so much laundry. I don't really know why is that normal with a family of four. Diapers are like, of course, cloth diapers make your laundry even more. We wash them every second day, which is a lot. Like I know my sister says she does even at home. No, at home we do a lot of laundry too. It's like our biggest vice. We always say that our washing machine never ever stops running. It's just like this thing. And when we moved into my sister's the last two weeks, she's like, Wednesday's our laundry day. And I'm like, what? I have a, a family of four, but I have a baby and she has like a five-year-old and a 10-year-old. Like, then how do you do laundry once a week? That to us, like I would, I would be having to do laundry on Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. So where we are right now, you can either take it to a lady who will do your laundry for you and it's 60 baht per kilo for her to do it and she washes, dries it, folds it and then you pick it up. Or everywhere there's um, like washers on the side of the road basically or outside businesses and they're coin operated and I think it's like 40 baht for a load and then you just, I guess you just leave it there and um, then you pick it up and then you can hang dry it where you are. Or we actually have a dryer where we are right now but not a washing machine. So we've just been getting the lady down the street the, the, to do our laundry and um, yeah, it's about three times a week and each time it's about, I don't know how many kilos, about six to eight kilos a week. I miss a washing machine actually. It's handy because she's just up the road but um, I love a washing machine because <laughs> you need it, because you need it all the time. I hope that answers your question about laundry and everywhere's different. Like some places you have a washing machine but in Thailand especially, there's laundry places everywhere. Either someone to do it for you which is more common than just standalone washing machines, but super easy and super cheap to get it done. Yeah, okay, I hope that helps. See you later.